Remember I've been gone for the past month and soon about to be two months? Well, wouldn't it be nice to tell you why this happened? This is a video I felt like there was no purpose in making, but I just wanted to do it and I guess that's a step because I randomly disappeared. There's multiple reasons of why I'm here and I'm making this video just to inform you guys about. And I can't lie, it's kind of difficult to make a video like this because it's about my life and some personal things. I won't go into full depths about each single topic that occurred to me during these two months technically because some are just meant to be private and i'm not trying to tell my whole life story but i wanted to share with you guys what i've been going through this is not scripted i'm just going off hand and just talking i love just talking to the people because most of my videos it just feels like i'm being forced to just make some quick smart remark and be like oh this this that no this is real life this is reality in all seriousness though i've just been going through a lot and there's tons of topics that i need to bring up so as you guys know my channel's been doing pretty decent ever since i made the i'm back for more video that was about a year ago and i actually started kind of popping off and getting subscribers i'm still at a decent amount of subscribers i thought i would have more but i'm still glad and i'm so happy people actually support my content during those times uh i was just posting over and over and i took a, like a month break in between but that was because my delta rune video was like really long and i actually like edited that shit then like i started making more diverse content with what i had because i started seeing that most of my content was just smash and i don't want to even be technically called oh this guy yeah he just makes smash videos i don't want to be the one hit wonder i want to do multiple things and i feel like that's why i really like about my channel now because i feel like i'm diverse of what i have because not all the time it's nintendo games but most of the time it is because i just want to make content that I like doing I don't want to play a game that I don't like and I can't lie Smash Bros is starting to become one of those games that I just play just to play I don't like fully love it anymore like how I used to and I'm not saying I'm gonna stop making Smash Bros videos but it's gonna become a time where it's like Smash Bros is just like my least amount played game like my least priority during the time so with that, I continue to make different games. I made a video called uh, Mario Party Superstars Online. And that game, I really enjoyed. I loved making that video. And there was tons of other videos that I made before, like the Childhood Crushes video, the Cuphead video. Shit, I even did Kirby Elden Ring. And I did my first ever like true live stream. I live streamed before on YouTube, but it wasn't as like here as the one that I streamed about two months ago. Then I made a Ganondorf.exe video video and this video is actually doing pretty good the thing that made me stop was well school school was in a big big step of where i fell off the reason being is because finals and regions are coming so i had to do all of that and in school i'm a pretty decent student i don't fail and i don't excel so high to where people are like yo this is amazing i'm just an average student 70s and 80s are just me that's just me so literally i had to step up my game and just pop off in school literally i had to pop off in school i remember each single night i was just like trying my hardest when it comes down to just school and on the side i would just make a little bit amount of content i don't know i was just enjoying my life i was hanging out with my friends most of the time caring about school and just living the average teenager life because each time i make like youtube videos and stuff like that yeah i do feel like a kid but sometimes it's like i sacrifice some of my time with my friends just to do what i love doing that's not a bad thing but sometimes it gets to you and it's like am i really living life to the fullest that's kind of like deep to say but it's kind of true and i wanted to just bring that up because not that much people even and talk about how time really affects everything when i started my whole youtube channel i was be i was like 15 16 during the time because i started my channel when covid just like first begun with a freaking stupid shinobi life video on roblox and now looking where i am now i'm grateful from where i am but it's like sometimes i feel like i kind of just not wasting my time but invested so much time to where it's like what else could i have done with that time and honestly i don't even know that if i could give myself the same time that i did that i put on my youtube channel i don't know what i would do with it and that's the weird thing to say so honestly i'm just grateful to just make videos and just entertain people even if it's not 
not that much people still just to entertain people and just gain views to just show that oh people actually like my video i should probably keep this up it just makes me happy and another thing that has got me this month was i didn't bring this up at all in any videos and whatnot because it's technically my personal life and i don't like to bring up mostly my personal life because well it's the internet there is no reason to because i'm 17 like yeah i'm a teenager and all but it's like my life isn't as like interesting as you guys think literally i come from school i go to the gym then i come back home edit for like three hours then go to sleep i don't do anything else oh 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 and you know what's even better i hang out with friends saturday or sunday yep that's the teenager life also i started skateboarding which is pretty cool but yeah about my personal life because i'm about to bring it up i'm not going into full depths of why but i broke up with my girlfriend i know this is hard to take in but yes me giga saga i i get bitches <laughs> no 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 i don't i don't get any bitches but this was my first ever technically relationship with a girl and it it was going pretty good we both really like each other and even though we broke up we're still really good friends and that's what i'm happy to really say like i still care for her and i'll be there for her no matter what because she will always be my best friend we started dating in september actually the relationship only lasted about nine months those were like the best nine months i kind of experienced because it really comes to show how love really works that's why when i was going through the technically the relationship it, it was a lot of ups and downs which i mean by this is love really shows character who you are as a person and sometimes love can corrupt you and you do stupid things for no reason i can fully say that because that's kind of what happened to me i did so much for her and she didn't know how to replicate how much i did so it like kind of felt one-sided relationship and all wasn't a bad relationship it was just the point to where i cared so much that it actually hurts and i feel like that's what fell off it's kind of hard to explain this but I don't want to go into full depths because there's way more. But all you guys got to know is I'm doing fine and I'm just happy in general. But yeah, I always look on the bright side of everything. So even when we technically did break parts like and we broke up, I'm doing fine. And I even like started working on myself more. Like I said, I even started going to the gym and whatnot. I'm trying to get fucking shredded. But yeah, I'm 17, about to turn 18 soon. And as I now know, when you're 18, people start seeing you as an adult. So soon, I'm technically going to be old. Feels bad. And I just can't like comprehend how different life will be when I turn 18. There's tons of things I want to do in my lifetime, but as of me now of thinking, I just want to pursue YouTube and see how far I can really become. Because if I can make it all for something on here, I can make it all for something out there also. Because each single class of school and whatnot is always like, oh, what you want to do for college and whatnot. Like, yeah, it seems simple. Video production or a, become a graphic designer or something, right? Yeah, it seems like the job for me. Thing is though, I want to do it. It's just like, I don't want to make it into a job to the point where it's just like, I don't like it anymore. Because usually in life, that's usually what happens. People that do the career that they like doing, of course they love it, but it's just like, it slows down to the point where it's just like, I don't like it anymore. And I don't want it to be those type of things because I love what I'm doing on YouTube. I can express myself and do whatever I want, but in a professional job, I can't do the things that I really like doing. I can't be creative. I love being creative and I love entertaining people. That's just who I am. So in general, just having a business job to the point where it has to be professional and I have to do this for other people besides just working on myself, I don't think I have what it takes. I maybe do, but as of now, I don't know where I'm gonna go at or pursue. So just take this with a grain of salt. Nothing is wrong with me mentally wise. Probably I'm a psychopath. I don't know, but I'm fine. And that's why I'm really proud to say, like, during these, like, one, two months, i just been going through a lot of just character development. Character development in real life. Like, this is my arc right now. This is just the beginning. But in all honesty, yeah, i just been doing my thing, and I can't wait to announce that I am officially back, and I'm 
back for more and i have tons of videos and i have a new video coming out that is way different from every single format of video i ever did and i can't wait to say that well i'm saying it now on a video i just i just realized that so honestly if you're still watching this video i'm fine and i want to tell you guys that i am doing good and i'm going to be posting soon so don't worry about me worry about yourself love yourself that's that's the main goal i want from everybody just love yourself but yeah before you guys leave just follow me on twitter and follow my instagram i post memes there but yeah i'll see you guys on the flip side so bye guys